Hello everybody, uh, our group is named uh, Outside the Box, which means that uh, we have some different and new ideas which go counter to the mainstream. And uh, that means uh, Outside the Box, because uh, we are used to all the ideas uh, from, uh, from now uh, which are inside the box. So, uh, how we organize the work? Together, uh, in our group, we did the brainstorming for five minutes. We uh, achieved uh, every, uh, we, we, we wrote down the problems and uh, then we found out the solutions uh, which uh, we uh, wrote uh, in different papers. Then we gathered together and uh, we uh, gave uh, some, uh, uh, we, we did this uh, brainstorming again and uh, in the end uh, we uh, had a collision of ideas and opinions uh, but uh, the most important thing is that we had fun and uh, we reached some uh, results. Uh, so, uh, the, what experience uh, we had uh, is that uh, uh, we chose uh, a new way of presenting it, which is by, uh, uh, which is by a short acting, and uh, we also drew a childish sketch here, but uh, I will explain it later. So, uh, here is uh, Adam, and uh, uh, instantly he has uh, he wanted to climb the, step, the, the steps of uh, success, but uh, he, he couldn't, so uh, he fell down. Here he is he falling down. And uh, that's because of some personal problems and uh, some differences in responsibilities. So uh, now I am John. I am the leader of the, uh, the consulting company, and even I need some consulting on my own. That's why I have my consultant here, Doris Rabbit. So, uh, Hello, Doris. Hey, John. How are you? Oh, I'm very tense uh, right now, and I, I have a lot of problems. Uh, Adam is one of my best workers and uh, one of my uh, co-workers, and uh, he uh, is uh, he, he, he wanted to get promoted. What I did is that I gave him a chance because that's uh, what leaders do: give a chance. And uh, I gave him a chance to uh, express his ideas by project. And uh, the problem is that uh, he couldn't reach the deadlines, and uh, in the end, uh, he had a sh he had a very low performance. Uh, so uh, what I did is uh, hold the conference and uh, hold the meeting where uh, I uh, got uh, everybody's attention and uh, one and uh, told uh, and made clear that uh, it was Adam's fault uh, after all. Uh, do you think I was a bit harsh? First of all, I must say that you did right and that you held the meeting because it means that you uh, you could handle the situation quickly in the moment that you notice the problem. But I think that actually you were a bit harsh. Imagine how would you feel if you were in front of your team and the leader comes and says that it's your fault about the mistake. You would feel a bit embarrassed, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe I think that's the reason why now he has a lack of confidence and maybe I believe that he lost his authority in his team. That? Yes, but uh, then you know I had another meeting with him to understand him better, and uh, in fact, you know what I what I found out that he had some personal issues. That's why I gave him I changed the responsibilities of him, and uh, uh, although I saw some improvements, uh, yet he had some problems and difficulties he hadn't shown before. Uh, for example, uh, he had the lack of uh, confidence. Okay, first I'm glad you did a personal meeting only with Adam, but I think you should have done this first. Anyway, uh, since you know some personal issues, I think you should talk with on this. Because sometimes, or, or all the times actually, personal issues are the main problem where the performance is uh, going back. So you should consider this. What are you going to do? What do you think? Uh, well, uh, you know, you're very right in this because sometimes as a boss, I, I'm too strict and I tend to forget everybody's uh, points of view and everybody's emotions and feelings. That's uh, a right thing to say. But uh, do you think that uh, I should give him some days off? Yeah, probably it would be a good idea because during this uh, break, maybe he will reflect and find and solve his personal issues. So uh, there won't be, they won't have any more that he wants to be performing. Yes. Okay, I'm going to consider it, but uh, I should also refer to one of Steve Jobs' uh, solutions, which was that uh, he would uh, take all the employees uh, for a walk and, uh, and uh, get together and uh, be friendly and uh, sociable with them. So, uh, in one way, uh, he would understand uh, all their feelings and, um, and uh, motivate them in some kind of way. Yeah, you're right. After that, I think that you should uh, hold another meeting, but this time you should be careful with what you say. Because, uh, as you said uh, before, that there were some
some improvement in the project, right? Mm -hmm. So you should congratulate them about this. You should focus on this achievement. Not going on the mistakes they do, okay? But does not mean this way I'm going to be too nice because as a boss I want to be strict sometimes, you know? No, I don't think so actually, but it's your uh, job to find the golden mean uh, between being strict and tolerant. And you can find the goal by knowing them better, understanding them uh, as their own work. Thank you, but uh, also, can you think of any other problems with my behavior? Because yes, actually, when you did the personal meeting with Adam, you said that you changed your responsibilities because yes. you were making mistakes. I think this is a very, a very big mistake of yours, because if you change your responsibilities, then you're going to make him confused about that. You should uh, point the responsibility and let him finish his work. Do not change your responsibilities time by time, okay? Okay, thank you very much, Doris, and uh, you have your last. You are.